Good afternoon, everyone. I am Dr. Sharon Sebastian. Uh, I am doing my uh, JR2 ship in radiology in BJMC, Pune. I'll be presenting my paper on the topic role of CT in traumatic bubble injury and overview of radiological findings. The aims were to determine the various radiological signs of bubble perforation in CT, to determine the sensitivity of CT in diagnosing post-traumatic bubble injury, and to compare radiological findings with intraoperative inference. Uh, as we all know, traumatic bubble injuries are a critical challenge uh, if, because if it is not promptly diagnosed, uh, it can uh, lead to sepsis, uh, peritonitis, and uh, life-threatening complications. And studies have demonstrated that CT scans can accurately detect uh, bubble perforations with very high sensitivity, exceeding 90%. And uh, in this article, uh, CT signs of bubble injury are described and correlated with surgical results. Uh, the, it was a cross-sectional study, retrospective, done uh, at BJMC and Sassoon General Hospital, Pune. 28 patients who presented with blunt abdominal injury between uh, December 2022 and August uh, 24, with surgically confirmed bubble perforation and whose pre-operative CT scan was done our institution, was considered. And all of these patients were imaged in a 128-slice uh, Siemens CT scanner. And the trauma protocol included a non-contrast, arterial, venous, and delayed phases with administration of oral contrast wherever it was possible. Now, um, the observation of my study was uh, that out of the 28 patients, uh, CT findings considered diagnostic of bubble injury was seen in 24 cases. That is 85.7%, which included pneumoperitoneum or uh, direct visualization of discontinuity of bubble wall or extravasation of oral contrast in six cases, that is 21.4%. So as the pie chart indicates, 80, around 86% were accurately diagnosed. And among the 14%, 7% was sus, uh, suspected to have bubble injury. That is, these were two cases in which uh, pneumoperitoneum or accurate visualization of discontinuity was not seen. However, other features like bubble wall thickening, hypoenhancement, intramural air, intraperitoneal free fluid without any solid organ injury and mesenteric uh, hematoma. Uh, were seen and a suspicion was raised and they these were found to have uh, perforation intraoperatively. The other 7% were missed. That is, these were two cases um, where there was significant solid organ injury, but there was no pneumoperitoneum. Uh, however, laparotomy was done in uh, view of uh, significant uh, injury to the solid organs and they found a uh, pneumoperit uh, bubble injury. And on retrospective evaluation of their CT scans, we could find uh, minute features like uh, tiny foci of air uh, adjacent to the site of perforation or fat stranding or bubble wall thickening. So these could have been uh, detected uh, had a meticulous uh, uh, evaluation done or a follow-up imaging was done. Now this is the table which shows uh, the common site, most common being duodenum followed by ileum, jejunum, colon and stomach site of perforation. This is a table which shows the common radiological findings we, uh, in our study, uh, which uh, was pneumoperitoneum in 85.7% case, again, intra-abdominal free fluid in 85.7%. Bubble wall discontinuity or oral contrast leak was found in 21.4% cases. Bubble wall thickening in 42.8%. Bubble wall hypoenhancement in 25% case. Intramural air in 28.6%. And... Um, hematoma or local fluid collection, 39.3 percentage of cases. Uh, these are a few of the example cases. Uh, this was a case of a 58-year-old male. Um, you can see uh, who presented with the uh, RTA, blunt abdominal trauma. You can see free air and uh, free fluid along the anterior surface of the liver. You can see in the second image, thickened mid-jejunal loops with bubble wall hyper-enhancement. And the third image, intramural air can be seen. However, there was no uh, rend uh, obvious discontinuity of the wall visualized. However, in uh, uh, intraoperatively, mid jejunal loops were seen to be perforated. Now, this was a case of a 63-year-old patient uh, with traumatic injury. Mm. So, in the first image, again, uh, pneumoperitoneum can be seen. In the second image, a collection in the subhepatic or prepyloric area was seen with gastric contents, um, multiple hyperdense areas, contents, and uh, air foci within. And upon oral contrast administration, contrast extravasation was seen, confirming the site to be pylorodiodinal junction. This was a 45-year-old male with RTA. Again, uh, in the second image, you can see uh, uh, against the jejunal loops, there was a collection being formed with multiple air foci. And in the third image, a discontinuity 
in the bubble wall could be visualized. This was a case of a 10-year-old female who presented with RTA and a mesenteric hematoma was seen. This is the arterial phase uh, where contrast blush is seen and in the venous phase, it is see, the blush is seen to be expanding. Uh, so this was a mesenteric hematoma due to uh, ideal branches of SMA and uh, site of perforation was again IDM intraoperatively. Now, this was a case of a 45-year-old male uh, who presented with blunt abdominal trauma. Free air can be seen with uh, a collection with air pocci in uh, along ileal loops and further a rend or a discontinuity could be visualized, which was confirmed intraoperatively. So, in uh, conclusion, uh, our study showed a positive detection of 85.7% uh, case for a radiological detection of traumatic bubble injury, confirming the invaluable role of CT. CT findings, which are highly specific, was uh, free intraperitoneal air, bubble wall discontinuity, and contrast leak. And CT findings suggestive of, but not specific for bubble injury, included bubble wall thickening, hypoenhancement, intramural air, free fluid of unknown origin, focal collections. Now, these warrants further investigation, evaluation, and peritoneal lavage or follow-up CT scans. Although oral contrast administration was not possible in all cases due to the urgent nature of the uh, injury, uh, it is advisable wherever it is possible. These are my references. Thank you.